Hasselt at the expense of uh, Jamie Caven on the uh, countback rule. So maybe something to prove here this season, starting in Hildesheim, but he's up against a man who, as you say, is on the crest of a wave right now, having won his tour card in January. Two very notable wins in his first campaign, as far as Euro qualifying is concerned as well. Beat James Wilson, Championship European Championship quarter-finalist. First leg, Stephen, and throw first. Game on! And he beat Simon Stevenson as well, a player who made giant strides up the rankings in 2016 as well. Stevenson's first year on the PDC Tour, and a man who made his TV debut at the Players' Championship Four finals as well. So, certainly an argument for Burton given what he's achieved in his very brief time on the PDC circuit, but Painter has bags of experience. When I'm right out, folks! Given his impressive CV. Certainly has, and the two names that really stood out in qualifying for this were Paul Nicholson and Kevin Painter. So it'll be interesting wow. to see if he's in the same kind of form that Mr Nicholson showed earlier on. Painter, a big Ipswich Town fan. Well, that's where he's hoping to send Stephen Burton back to. He's from Ipswich, Full Burton, a window cleaner. Yeah. Read a, a nice piece about uh, Burton in uh, one of the local papers, and he was effectively saying, I don't want to be a window cleaner for the rest of my life. And he's grasping this opportunity or wants to make this opportunity as a chance to, or well, he sees it as two years to change his life and change his destiny. And 28. Well, he's made a fairly good start so far. Failed to achieve his short term aim of making the UK Open, but. Had a good crack at the Players' Championship Series. He uh, made the last 32. Wow, first run out Beat Robbie Green. But uh, the objective has to be. One Retaining that card, but uh, Painter rattling on 180. On the Burton throw as well. And uh, Painter. 45. Is in good shape here Kevin to break in the eight. very first leg. It has the potential to be a harsh introduction to European Tour darts for Burton. Let's see how he can handle 16. himself against, well, one of the darts greats, really. That's a good start for this 111. Mm. Double top. Oh, Kate lovely start. Stephen Burton. Second leg, Kevin. Well, if place. he was feeling any nerves beforehand, I think they will have eased significantly after that. That was uh, very accomplished. 99. 111 with Painter sat on 48 as well at the time. Yeah, 33 players left in the tournament. One and right on, 31. One more to exit before our second round tomorrow. And that'll be one of this pair with Simon Whitlock awaiting the winner. Mm. One Number six seed now, Simon, having had to qualify for many of the events last year and not always having achieved that, Whitlock's made sure that he won't be messing around in the qualifiers in 2017 with his good form on the floor. Absolutely. Um, really has just had this renaissance over the last six to eight months or so. 77. Or maybe further back than that, actually. Yeah, the beard is to be feared again, and will he be feared by the winner of this? Well, I think he has every right to be feared, because he's uh, certainly doing the business once again. 99. But Stephen Burton sh certainly showing no fear, is he, on his big stage bow? 45. He'll get six starts from here, by virtue of that 45 visit from Kevin. Oh, dear. 67. Well, that is Joker there with a 57 to leave a level turn after firing the first two darts into the five. 76. Stephen, you require 100. So, a chance to break it. Tens. 90. Oh, Some way inside, Kevin, but you require 104. will he return? That's the question here. Treble 18. Oh, he went for the 20s instead. 84 remaining. No, oh, he won't finish now. 100. So double Stephen five to break and double his lead. That's, that's way high. And that's low, so Painter will come back. Score. That got in double one. And that went in double one Stephen as well, so just four. to make life even more difficult for Stephen Burton. Painter, though, on double two. Won't want to mess about too much on this. Awkward. 
Dingshan the second leg. Maybe not. Very pleased. Third leg, Stephen the throat first. Game on. Uh, we will be back tomorrow with uh, the last 32 second round played out over two sessions as we've seen some fantastic Six action and a great atmosphere today Rob so yeah. imagine what it's going to be like in here when the likes of Michael Van Gerwen and Peter Wright take to the stage it will be absolutely heaving in here tomorrow when I'm ready, I'm it's going to be a, a warm weekend as well and I think inside it will feel like it's the height of summer interesting as well when you look at Burton's progression through Q school earlier this year as well he he came through as one of the automatic entrants doing the business fairly early on but three of the players he beat actually went on to get a tour card as well so they proved to be as it turned out some of the more consistent players over the course of the four days Madas Razma, Darren Johnson and Steve Hyde so it wasn't as if he was done any particular favours by the draw Wrote his luck to an extent as well against Keita Ono, the Japanese player, but uh, in the end it was... 100! Oh yes, for Stephen Burton. Like it. But 30. it was a, a good start Kevin to this match and it, all of a sudden he's just lost his range a little bit and now paying so well he could stay there and well he does stay there and he won't have to bother with the ball because it's double six for a one two six now they may be regretting that route well Burton just needs to uh, make significant inroads here and so far he's unable to do that so 60 painter Can has all the time six. in the world here well, he's had double two and he's going to go there again yeah. Game shot in the third leg. Sensible ploy. Kevin Painter. Kevin Painter there. Full leg, Kevin, the throw first. Game on. And that was against a throw, so Painter now has assumed command of this match as he looks to finish today with a victory. We will see, uh, just to pick out a few highlights of tomorrow. In the afternoon, Premier League stars Jelle Klaassen and Kim Hybrex are both in action. My pick of the afternoon session will be Hybrex against Diego Portella, who yeah. we saw win on his debut. And in the evening, well, Michael Van Gerwen has got Jermaine Watamina, who played very, very well tonight. Yeah. Good average from uh, Jermaine in that win against Burnley. His uh, finishing yeah. was pretty spot on as well. His average at one point was yeah. about 105, wasn't it? So, anyway. That's all to look forward to tomorrow. Will Kevin Painter, or will it be Stephen Burton joining the party on Saturday? Well, Painter Whitlock, it's an old Premier League encounter, isn't it? How times have changed for Kevin. He's down to 46 on the order of merit now. Well, He's one of the players to hold a PDC major, having won the Players' Championship finals back in 2011, yeah. beating Mark Webster in Doncaster. Succeeding Paul Nick. 126. I believe, unless it was the year they had it twice. I always get mixed up with that. Actually. I think it was the year after, but... The year Nicholson won it was the year they had it twice, yeah. so I think well, probably Phil Taylor won it in between. Yeah. I'm going to take a guess at anyone. 136. 136 then for the artist. And, oh, he's just gone underneath that time. 96. Uh, well, 66. Almost on the treble 16 bet there as well. 16 for tops. Here's double top. Game and he shot lands the it. full flag. Stephen Merton. Breaks back straight away. Fifth leg, Stephen the throw first. Game on. Not done with just yet at all is uh, Stephen Burton. And uh, credit to him there because Painter looks as though he was just beginning to build up ahead of steam. But Burton responding well. We've already seen one former World Championship finalist, by the way, to lose out today. Kirk Shepard suffering a defeat in the first match of the day against Richie Corner. Painter made the final of the big one in 2004. 131. Yeah, his potential opponent, Whitlock, also a former World Championship finalist back in 2010. Yeah, big, big match that if it comes off, but Burton's got something to say about this. 60. Just goes gone of the days when you're, uh, you've not got much 55. to talk about for the, the players that are in action on the first day of these events. Well, you've that's got, it couple of former world championship finalists former premier league stars and players who are just doing it week in week out on the pro tour 85. anyway players who've done the business on the development tour as well who are coming through and making an appearance as well so yeah you're absolutely uh, spot on chris 
90. Burton, as we said, in his maiden season. He's 29 years old now. It's interesting, darts, because you, you can't really put your finger on a PK, can you? See the right. likes of Michael Van Gogh storming through from a young age, yet the likes of Peter Wright, Gary 90. Anderson peaking towards the 40s and in the 40s. And someone like Alan Norris, who only, well, he was voted PDC Newcomer of the Year, and what was he? 44 years old at the time? One and um, It's no barrier. And uh, the older guard have made an impression today, Richie Corner, 54 years old. Paul Harvey as well. Kevin Painter himself is 50 this year too. Yeah, Mervyn King, five. the other side of Kevin 50. But then there's the nice balance with the, uh, the likes of Dimitri Vandenberg winning today. Portella's only 28. David Pallet still in his 40 20s five. as well. Stephen, you require 140. Really must be the most inclusive sport. On that basis, age, certainly. And in terms of finance, I mean, 60. if you're good Kevin enough, you can pick up a set of darts relatively cheaply. You don't have to pick up scholarships and fly halfway across the world to go to camps in America or whatever. So Painter wants tops now to break back. 55. Stephen, you require 80. Yeah, and you're seeing a professional change in how the youngsters are getting in. They're getting through academies and, you know, the, the Junior Darts Corporation, the PDC 40. Youth Tour. It's not all Kevin just happening 20. in pubs now, is it? And well, I say, I mean, the decline of pubs as well. There were people who feared that darts might just ebb away and, you know, lose its uh, status, but anything but. It's, it's been exactly the opposite. 15. You know, there's, there are alternative Steven ways of starting a career 40. and picking up a set of darts for the first time. Burton led after one leg. Then Painter wrestled the advantage leg. from him, but he Stephen has now Martin, regained that. Six leg Kevin at both first. And we'll start to see the painter snarl. 89. One of those players that's a joy to commentate on because he does not leave you guessing as to what he's thinking, does he, Kevin Painter? satisfied with that yeah gave himself a, a nod of acknowledgement one hundred. and firing in the maximum score sixty five yep well he's down to a finish of one six seven that uh, final dart was good thinking from painter twenty six Kevin, you require one hundred and sixty-seven. Just knew instinctively where to go. Eighty-five. Well, Burton won't give up just yet. Should go twenty-five or ball now. One hundred and five. Kevin, you require. Just to leave himself three. with a chance should Payne not clean this up. Topsy wants then for a 3 3 scoreline. 42. And now Burton Steven needs the big one. 170. Which won't go. So Six Painter. Kevin, you favourite here to level the match at three apiece. Game shot the sixth leg. Kevin Painter. And seventh on leg. Go. Steven the throw first. Game on. Yeah, a bit of a battle, isn't it? There's been plenty of this, well, I'm right out but there's also been the old visit with loose darts flying into the one and the five from both players. Sixty. And you do get the feeling that we are only halfway through this match. Yeah. There we see, the average is not really anything to write home about, but it's... Uh, a pretty gripping encounter. One well, round of 40. And Burton just looking to uh, do something about that average there. He's uh, made a good start to this seventh leg. One of 280 after six starts. The painter was a beneficiary at the World Championship of uh, Kyle Anderson's visa problems. and 60. He ended up going out to Phil Taylor. And we found himself kind of at the centre of a controversy that had nothing to do with when... Uh, Taylor locked horns with Wayne Marl in a TV studio. Yeah. Question asked Steven about Kevin. 161. Phil looked to 
be cracking under the pressure a little bit and went on to lose to Roman Van Barneveld, but the power is... Well, he's back. He beat Peter Wright, didn't he? He's never been away, has he, the power? Of course he hasn't. But he's away from the European 45. tour. 45. Stating the required 96. Yeah, he was, a, he was a big price to beat Peter Wright the other night as well. Or well, last night, I should say. 80. Roberton way ahead in this one. Uh, wonder, I just wonder if Taylor will fancy turning up just for one to try and do what he did well, last year. Smash and grab in Austria. Booked himself a place in the European Championship finals. Game the seventh leg. As Burton Same moved man. ahead here. Eighth leg Kevin He's making a good fist of it, isn't he, on his debut? It's not the highest quality game 58. we've seen all day. But he's two legs away from a place in the second round now. Yeah, and with the uh, painter making a sluggish start there. Burton knows he has to jump all over this, but just a flat sun from Burton. As we've uh, lost the scores once again, but uh, one red and forty. We'll keep on top of things here. Well, that's very way over. Twenty-six. There you see, Peter on three or three. Normally, a player of his experience would move down the board because. 1 3 3 would leave the finish. Makes to deflect into the treble three. They're yeah, just one of those shots where sometimes you wonder why they're switching. That's why. 5 19s leaves the finish where 5 60s. 135. Yeah, just smooth here. Smooth the passage. 97, Kevin, you require 83. Of course, I meant 7 when I said that. Anyway, here we go, 83, double 16, double 8. 75. He is another player who prefers to be down in that segment rather than up at the top, Kevin Painter. It's kind of old school, isn't it, because the 16 splits down more than any other One number. number. Yeah. Kevin, you require 8. That one's further away. Anxious times Getting here, but panic the not. Game Kevin Painter fans. Ninth leg, Stephen the throw first. Game on. Four apiece and a race to two now to see who will take on the Wizard tomorrow. That will be the penultimate game. One tomorrow's round evening round session. 40. Nice room for one more there. Yeah. One Exploiting the gaps, the first start was absolutely perfect. There was acres of room to work with there as well, and he found his way through. One. Well, there was room for another three after that to yeah. the other side. Could have put a mirror image up and left himself one for one after six. A 180 on your opponent's 45. throw. 45. Always feels like more. But look at that. He's followed it up very, very disappointingly. Been the story of the match, hasn't it? Just 16. not able to find that degree of consistency that he wants. And once again, can't find the big number. Or the treble bet, I should say. Yeah, one eight here, and then he's only got half that score with the next six starts combined. And here looks Stephen Burton. Uh, 29. Well, will that prove costly? Oh dear. Well, wherever he seems to fire the dart, he Saving can't seem to avoid the five. Because it hasn't left him a shot. 72 for Burton. Oh, well. 65 remaining. After seven remaining. Bit of a messy visit, this. But okay, he's got uh, Painter on 186, so it's not the end of the world, but that was a very messy visit from Stephen Burton. Yeah, that's why he didn't go 15 ball, because he knew that his opponent wasn't on Stadium a finish. No doubt which way he'll go now. Looks a good guy, doesn't it? Game it shot was. on the ninth leg. Stephen Burton, oh, ten well. leg, Kevin, a throw first. One leg away from a, a debut victory on the European Tour. Yeah, slightly derailed with 40. that uh, first start in his previous visit, but he gets over the line.
can he hold his nerve here? 41. Well, shame that because Painter only registering 40 on his first visit. And 120. Just for a moment there, I thought he was going to back it up with a ton 80. Well, it's a strange game. You see certain players just get into little rhythms and you see peaks and troughs, but this has just been hit and miss from both players right from the off. 180, yeah. then 45, then 140, then 26. 96. Ninety-five. We saw a game earlier on between uh, eighty-five. Jan Decker and Chris Quant Quantock, which was a bit of a battle, and then Jan Decker put in an absolutely brilliant deciding leg. I wonder if the experience of Painter, if it gets to that stage, will yeah. do for him what he did for Decker. Kevin, you require one hundred and fifty-seven. Well, Topsy wants. 130 but you suspect he well he will be back because uh, Burton's on 210 so you suspect we will be going all the way here well a fitting finale to an interesting day of darts 50 we've seen Kevin some shots an excellent story with the first Brazilian player making his way through Diogo Portela hang on a moment though painter in a spot of bother here 50. oh really is really is now Stephen Burton needs to 160. take out the Gerwin price here the 160 that he pulled out in the UK Open but it won't go well painters pegged double two a couple of Talks times already in this match Kevin you require five so be looking for big one and he must be feeling pretty confident down there Game yeah, shot. Yeah, and we are going all the way Kevin painter the 11th from yeah, final third time today he's taking out double two first. Game on! And it's another match that goes the distance. We've seen a few of these in the evening session. Decker, Quantock, as you mentioned, Rastovitz against King, and uh, Doby 16. against Bain all going the distance, and so too is this one. What Burton would have given there for a nice ton 40, maybe more just to settle his nerves. But I'll tell you what, Kevin Painter took longer then to approach the hockey than any other visit in this match. One hundred and seventy-seven, and that could well be what wins it for him. Just that, mind you, he backed up the one eighty last time with two very substandard visits. Needs to back it up here. Burton started first in this leg and Painter's kicked in with 177, 140. We mentioned this, would experience it and he, he paused, took time to compose himself before this leg and it's paying dividends so far. shades or echoes of what happened before but he's still in a very very good position here yeah, it's all right he knows now he's going to get two visits to clean up the one two four Kevin you require 124 yeah it's looking bleak here for Stephen Burton painter a strong favorite now to go through unless oh lovely lovely recovery just looked like he was shaking a little bit didn't he but pulled out the Harry Houdini act one round and 40. Well, Kevin just in case Painter fluffs his lines here, Burton is waiting. Game shot. But and he won't match. be back Kevin because Painter. Kevin Painter takes out double 12 at the first time of asking. And the former World Championship finalist was given a real run for his money there. But experience tells in the end. Stephen Burton will take a lot from his first appearance on the European Tour here in Hildesheim. Eye-catching moments from the man from Ipswich, the 1-1-1 checkout to start things off. Missed darts for a break of throw to make it 2-0. May well prove to be a turning point as well, but he held his own for much of that one. But in the end, it's Painter who comes through to set up that meeting with Simon Whitlock tomorrow. That will be an absolute cracker. Loads of other darts to look forward to tomorrow as well. The big guns join the party. Michael Van Gerwen, the world champion and the world number one. Game in the world, was it? is just one of them. Let's hear from Painter now and we'll see you again tomorrow for the European Tour, day two of the German Darts Championship. Just when it mattered, a 13 darter to win it. So that's all I can take out of that really. Is There's no real positives out of that. I started all right, but uh, 
I didn't finish, um, or didn't, the middle part of the game was poor. But, um, you know, as I say, I was against the throw last leg, 13 die, that'll do, I'll take that into tomorrow. But on the other side, in the couple of, last couple of months, I think I saw a lot of matches with you where you played well and you lost the match at the end, you know, where, where, where the other guy had, had the little luck to, to, to win matches. I mean, these are important wins. Well, yeah, you know, listen, with the standard of play now, you, you win a lot of games 6-5 and you lose a lot of games 6-5. Um, I've won my fair share of 6-5 games this year already and we're only in March. So, um, you know, with the standard of play now, you know, it, you just got to take it when you can and um, I'm quite pleased to win that. Simon Whitlock is waiting tomorrow. Interesting, interesting thing. Well, Simon's on real good form at the moment. Um, he'll be a big favourite here in the crowd. Um, he's a massive favourite. He should, he should beat me. So we'll see what happens, won't we? Okay. See you tomorrow. Thank you very much. Kevin. Pa